Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I want to talk to you today about a very interesting phenomena. According to Ayurvedic medicine, the digestive system becomes weaker in the summer and stronger in the winter. In the winter, it's cold outside, so the body increases its internal heat, increases its digestive fire, its furnace, to cook the food better and to insulate and warm us up. So it makes sense that when we harvest hard to digest winter foods, we need a big, strong digestive fire to cook them, more meats and more grains, nuts. Harder to digest foods in the winter require a stronger digestion. In the, winter, in the summertime, we have a situation where it's hot and the body has a tendency to decrease the digestive strength because it doesn't want to overheat. Luckily, nature harvests foods that are very easy to digest in the summertime, like fruits and vegetables that don't require a lot of digestive heat. So the tendency in the summer is for the digestion to slow down and become weaker. Interesting, a lot of folks at the end of the summer begin to feel bloated and boggy and their digestion starts to slow down. They start to feel more indigestion and maybe even more constipated, gaining more weight. And this could be possibly due to this phenomena that the seasonal end of summer digestive fire is weakening so not to overheat as at the end of the summer we accumulate more heat and the body tends to overheat. That's why we harvest cooling foods in the summer as nature's antidote to this tendency to overheat. So, what are some strategies if you are noticing your digestion slowing down, gaining more weight, feeling more bloated? What are some strategies? Well, you know, the first problem is that if we were living off the land, we would eat nothing but fruits and vegetables in the summer, eat easy to digest foods that are extremely cooling and really have no issues with the fact that the digestion is slowing down and becoming weaker because the foods we're harvesting are easy to digest, no problem. When we begin to add barbecues and chips and burgers and heavier cakes and donuts and vacation food and chocolate chip cookies, things like that, harder to digest foods. Those foods, in fact, are harvested, most of them in the fall, for winter eating. And if you look on my website at lifespa.com, I have the grocery list from my book, The Three Season Diet. It's free, you can download it for the summer cooling food. So you take a print out that grocery list, circle all the foods in the summer that are harvested naturally, that are cooling and easy to digest, and eat more of them. Think about, you know what? Maybe I should avoid some of these heavy barbecued, heavy foods and make more of an emphasis towards the lighter, easier to digest foods, fruits and veggies in the summer. In addition, we also know through Ayurveda that the digestive system is stronger in the middle of the day and weaker in the evening. So let's say, make your barbecues happen in the middle of the day and try to eat lighter in those summer evenings. So bigger, heavier meals in the middle of the day, eat off of the summer pitta pacifying cooling grocery list uh, from my three season diet book. You can print it out for free on my website at lifespot.com in the library, easy to get print it out, eat more of those foods. Don't think about what not to eat, think about what to eat more of. And then thirdly, you know, think about emphasizing more fruits and vegetables versus the heavy barbecued foods, more of the foods that are gonna be in fact cooling and eat less of the barbecued foods and save those heavier foods for winter eating. Now, some of us will also notice that we have more sluggish elimination and feeling we're gaining more weight around our belly, or our hips this time of the year. And there's an herb in Ayurveda called triphala, which is three Ayurvedic fruits that are very healing and uh, stimulating for helping the intestinal tract kind of become stronger and more efficient. And they can be taken after your meal to help make sure the, the body digests and eliminates more efficiently. And the first fruit is a fruit called amalaki. Amalaki is a fruit that is well known for its vitamin C properties, it has 20 times more vitamin C than oranges, and it's a very, very powerful healing agent for the intestinal mucosa. It was traditionally used to heal damaged intestinal mucosa from stress, from alcohol, from coffee, from irritants that damage the intestinal wall and produce a lot of reactive mucus. 
The second herb called bibitaki actually pulls that reactive mucus off the intestinal tract and flushes it out of the intestinal tract. If there is irritation in reactive mucus, the mucus bogs down the villi, the villi become non-functional and they don't function well. You don't absorb, assimilate, or detoxify well. So helping to pull the mucus off the intestinal tract is also critically important. The third fruit in the Trifala formula is a fruit called Harataki, more of a bowel tonifier, helps to tonify the intestinal tract and make it actually contract using more peristalsis, more, a, more of a, a natural ability to move the waste out of the intestinal tract more easily. So the Harataki tones and helps to, helps to rejuvenate the intestinal wall, make it stronger, more efficient. Amalaki heals the intestinal wall and of course the bibitaki pulls the mucus off the intestinal wall. That is real important. Bigger lunches, lighter suppers, less heavier summer foods, and of course eat more foods off the summer grocery list as we wind down summer. Make sure you make a point of doing that. Please check out the newsletter associated with this video where I go into detail about this topic and of course check out my website and the library for those grocery lists at lifespa.com. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Briard.